Welcome back to uh, the now in the last video actually I said that this was going to be the last video however um, I think this will end up being uh, two or three videos maybe more um, depending on how much we get through in each one so that I break it up and it's uh, it's in finished sort of sections all right so first thing is to open up your project it should look something like this uh, where we have our our spawn point here we have our random spawn points over here that are showing at the moment where wood will show up etc and we've got our flint and our stone and the camping part here now the script we will be most interested in is our main script so open that up on the screen and before you get started just make sure you've saved the file locally somewhere and published it to Roblox all right so now uh, before we do anything in our project uh, what you'll need to do if you haven't already done this is come up the top here to the right and you'll see this little share symbol so if you click on that you'll see game settings come up you need to click on game settings and there's a whole bunch of stuff that comes up in here um, that you can have a look through if you've never looked at this before however the one that we're interested in is security and out of all these for this particular project this is the one here enable studio access to API services it needs to be on green like this enables studio access to game services such as data stores and that's what we are working with so make sure that is on and you save it down here mine's already on obviously so I'll just cancel out of that once you've got that done we will start in our main script here and at the very top above game.players we're going to get access to the data store service so we'll type in local dss for data store service equals game and then we will get a service and in here data store service and there it is in our auto complete all right so that gets us access to the service that has some special functions or methods built into it that lets us save data so directly under this we're going to create a new variable called player data and we're going to look in the data store service and we're going to type in get data store now this might seem a little bit strange to some people um, but basically what happens is uh, it, when we set up a data store we access it so um, and if there isn't data there for what we're looking for which we're going to create a unique name in a moment then um, data store the data store service will create that for us and that will be this here so this will either have player data in it or it'll create a new empty one and put that in here okay so we need to have something unique in here um, I'm just going to uh, we'll we'll go with it's a camping game so let's go camper whoops camper um, and we'll put in a version number here which I'll explain more later why we need that but I usually put in a few uh, depending on testing and we'll say one to start with so if we need to reset our data stores which we probably will when you're testing or if you have problems uh, you can change this number and it will then create like a completely new data store all refreshed ready to start from the beginning um, so if we have those sort of problems where we need to change this I'll bring that up uh, anyway that is all we need to do at the the top of this file so if you've done that make sure you click on save and publish to Roblox all right now we'll continue down the bottom of this uh, if we go down our list and you should have all these very similar sort of things here player flint player stone uh, the each of the variables and then we get down to the bottom part here where we've set up uh, some more code and things 
uh, in here. So in this section where this code ends, I'd like you to just move this down a bit and we'll call, um, so we've got down here, um, this is spawning like our log spawn. So we'll just say log spawn script below. All right, so that'll help us separate these sections when you're looking to come back and work on it. And above this, we'll put in a comment here, data store load data. And put this across here. So I'll put in here load data. Um, it, it will save data obviously as well. Um, however, um, the first thing we do is try to load data to see if there is anything. So that's what I put in here. Uh, you can just put in data store um, code if you like below. Whatever you like, whatever makes sense to you. But in here, this is where we want to work. All right, so the very first thing that we're going to do uh, in our code with our data, because these things above here are the things that we want to save. Uh, not all of them, but uh, some of them. So we need to set up a, a variable called data. Now we're going to get that from player data. Now remember we up the top here, this is where we're doing it. This is the one we're accessing here, the one that we just either newly created or is getting us done. So we're going to make data equal to player data and then we will put a colon and get a sync. Inside here, we're simply going to put player user ID, and that that is what we're going to use. Each individual player gets their own data store. This get a sync part here is a part of the data stores methods or functions, and that's the bit that accesses the server. Okay, so now this is not a hundred percent. Um, working all the time because you know if you have lots of people using servers you know what it's like sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't sometimes you've got to retry so that is what that is about there all right now straight underneath this we're going to put a conditional statement in so if data squiggly line if you don't know what that is it's shift and the one up in the top left of my uh, keyboard equals nil then so this is saying if if data whatever is returned here from the server is not equal to nil which means there's data in it all right then we'll just put a a, a comment in here player has data so whatever's inside of this if statement we want to do that if there is data to get okay now obviously uh, new players won't have that so directly below that we'll type in else new player okay so this is where our new player um, data will be set up and then the player will play the game and when they leave, we'll have a function that saves the data. And then when they come back into the game, this should run. So that, that is the process that we're going to go through in here. All right. So in here, we can just do a couple of little tests, for example. So let's say we'll put in here print player data loaded. Okay, to let us know, yes, there was data and we grabbed it and it's been loaded into our variable. Otherwise, we'll put down here print player. Um, what do we, what did I say? We'll just say new player. Um, new player, yeah, we'll say new, new player uh, data setup.
Okay, so we've got a little test and we've actually got a data store set up here and we're going to click on File, Save and we'll click on File, Publish to Roblox and then I just would like you to run the game. Now nothing exciting is going to happen particularly but if we watch down here uh, I've got an error there uh, don't worry about this too much it's um, this from up here or something I'll, I'll run it again and I think it should just go away okay let's run it again okay so nothing exciting is going to happen um, but don't worry about this we'll fix this up if this comes up in yours um, I will have a look at that however you'll see that our new player data setup has been completed there all right now um, at the moment if I run over and do things and and there, there's not going to be any data because we haven't saved anything just yet so what we will do is we'll just clear that we'll stop this video here because that is virtually uh, all we need to, to get set up for, um, to begin with okay so remember you had to go to game settings then you had to add our variables up the top here with a version number and then down here we have added in whoops too far in our data code section here with those lines all right, so we'll leave leave that video there, and I'll see you in the next one, and we'll start to uh, set it up and make it work for your game. I'll see you there.